Hey there, so my name is Leonard Paul. I am the composer for the BeepMovie.com documentary, and uh, I also put together this patch to try and entice people to learn more about Pure Data. So what happened was that uh, Karen Collins, the director for the Beep movie, she did an awesome sound design for the Beep logo. So what I did is that I re basically like figured out all the notes and synthesis and stuff and I rebuilt it in pure data. So then that way people can see how the sounds are actually put together at a synthesis level. So you can do um, sampling in pure data, that's fine, but uh, it, the strengths really are synthesis. So to get this patch started, what you do is you need to download um, pure data from puredata.info, okay? Download it from there, and then once you've done that and installed it on your Mac, PC, Linux, or Raspberry Pi, or whatever else you've got that will run PD, then download the patch from here, okay? So sovga.com, so that's schoolofvideogameaudio.com, uh, slash beeplogoaudio.pd, okay? And then you'll get this patch, open up your data, and then open up the patch. And you should hopefully get something that looks like this. If you get something that looks like this, then that is the right file, that's the text file, but uh, you wanna load it up in the actual Pure Data program. It's actually a cool thing because it shows how all the instructions to generate the sound are all here, okay? So that is why I wanted to show you that. But what you wanna do is you wanna open up that .pd file from within Pure Data, and then you get this. Really what happens here is that the information flows from top to bottom, and um, yeah, hopefully you'll get some sound out of it. So when you click play, Okay, very cute. And uh, just to show you what the video looks like with it, if I hit play. Right, that's what it'll look like in the movie. Okay, so either you can download what's called PD Extended, which is what I've downloaded, and that'll allow you to play the video, or you can download uh, Pure Data Vanilla, um, and that will work just fine with this. It just won't play the video for you. All right, so just a quick uh, overview on how this works. The bang that comes out of here, it travels down here. It says to start the video or to start recording, and then the bang also travels out here to all these great delay functions, and these uh, will delay the bang by that number of milliseconds. Delay by 200, delay by 1,000. So if it's 1,000 milliseconds, then that's one second. So you just take off the last three, uh, you know, like digits there, and that's the number of seconds, okay? So then it, tra it travels through here and gets delayed, then it'll pop out of the bottom here. Those sounds all get mixed together and then they go out of the DAC, all right? And if you want to look around, we'll see what's going around in here. You get this nice, uh, you know, like it says, low sampling rate for the noise there. Okay, and each one of these you can open up and have a look at. All right. So once again, uh, download Pure Data. And then you download the patch from here. So download Pure Data, puredata.info. Okay. Download the patch from the School of Video Game Audio slash beeplogoaudio.pd, all right? And open up PD, and then open up the patch, play the patch, and make sure to check out what's going on with the beepmovie.com, okay? And if you have any questions, just ask me. I am Leonard Paul, and you can contact me at the School of Video Game Audio.com, S-O-V-G-A.com. Send me an email and ask me questions on how this patch is put together. So it's all synthesis, and uh, yeah, you can change anything you want. So thanks.